Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Outdoors. I am Phil and today is exciting. I'm working on a major project. Major project for me anyway. Might be small scale for some of you guys. But I'm working on creating a parking pad right here, right next to my shed. And right over there is my wood yard where I do all my firewood stuff. So right here in line. This is going to be a parking pad for a big reveal camper that we are going to purchase and bring out here. We were looking at renting a camper and uh, in case you don't know, we have a Christmas tree farm here. We're gonna be open with a tree lot uh, here in a, in a few short weeks for this holiday season. And we were wanting to stay out here on the property while we're open for business. And that's the whole point of all of this. Well, uh, we de decided just to go ahead and, and purchase a camper and not rent one. And that's for a variety of reasons, but literally nothing on this property is level. And uh, we have electric installed to the shed here. So we're just going to drop a line out of that, um, install 50 amp service for the RV. And then we'll have a nice level spot right here. And this will be on the camp side of the RV. So we'll be able to sit right in front of our RV when we're not working and look out over that awesome view right there, which we're pretty excited about. That'll be really nice in the summertime too, to have a, an air conditioned spot to go in and shower off and cool off and have a meal and all that kind of stuff. So we're excited. Today, I'm gonna get to work on this. You can see I've already started. Uh, on the far, line, uh, far side there, there are a couple cedar trees that I've already taken down. I've already pushed around a little bit of topsoil, but this thing really has a lot of slope from one side to another. I know it can be hard to tell slope on camera sometimes, so this is just a little eight foot piece of wood. We've got a 20 foot span that we're trying to excavate here, and it's uh, over here about eight inches off the ground. So you can tell that's just about how much slope we're dealing with here side to side. It actually tails off a little bit more behind me so at the very back of the parking pad, it's going to be a little bit more than this. And then it also slopes from the camera where you are down towards me. So I've got a couple different slopes here to deal with. But I'm going to end up building a retaining wall on this backside. And we're going to build this backside up quite a bit. And that'll uh, solve a, a big part of the problem that we have here with the slope. The rest of this will be pretty easy to get leveled out. So let's get to work. I didn't realize I started today with a partial battery, so that cut off after a little while. I'm not exactly sure how much, but I know for sure you didn't see all of this. So all along that edge now, there's a couple inches of dirt removed. It's actually higher over here. Uh, the, the regular ground is higher over here than over here. So I need to dig more off of this side and bring that some of that soil downhill, but I figured I'd go ahead and just do a quick check. I pulled out an old fence board and we'll do a little level on it. If we made much of a difference here. And wow. So I still need to bring a lot more, right about there's level. I need to bring a lot more soil downhill. Really need like a transit or a laser level or something to do this right. But I don't have that. We're going to get as close as we can like this. I do have a line level. I'll probably lay up some line real quick and see where we're at. This isn't as far off in this little 16 foot span. I've got about four inches, which I can easily make that up with backfill. And I can easily make that up with a difference in gravel depth once we, once we put gravel down. So for this span, that's good. Let me check a couple others. Okay. So we need more up the front there. So a lot more off that back corner, brought downhill. More off this front corner, brought downhill. We'll work at that a little bit and see where we're at.
and maybe some macaroni. That is our little retaining wall. Messed up on a couple little spots with measuring out the posts. This post here, we had it uh, lined up pretty good to the center of the post. But what I really wanted was this board to come all the way out to the edge of the post. So we have this gap in here. I don't think it's really gonna matter. It's gonna hold together fine. It just doesn't look as clean as it was supposed to. Then over here, this post was off. It wasn't in line, even though we had the string up and I thought we set it in line. So we had to put a spacer in here. Again, I don't think it's a huge deal, but it's just a little bit of, a, of an eyesore. So now we're ready to start pushing all this dirt back out to get our final grade, and then we'll be ready to bring in gravel. Well, this turned out okay. I am moderately satisfied with how this went. Along this side, I was gonna build a retaining wall, but I'm feeling a little cheap, and I didn't buy lumber to do a 40-foot retaining wall on this side. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring the gravel in, get everything level, and then I might use some pavers along this edge to create like a little step up and uh, and then just use the tractor to kind of grade it all out just a little bit to kind of create a little bit more of a transition between what I haven't touched yet over there in the grass and this down here. So I had to take off, it was about 18 inches over there to get it down to the grade that we want. So there is a spot or, a, you know, there is a section over there where it's quite a drop. So we're gonna make some of that up with gravel We'll make some of it up with pavers and we'll grade it and I think it'll be just fine. The other section over here, the actual retaining wall that we built, I gotta come through here with a saw and, and I'm gonna knock those posts level with the timbers. But uh, this is all I think gonna work out pretty well. It looks good and strong and the RV that we're gonna bring in here should fit just fine. And this grade that I've already set up is close enough to level that I know we'll be able to get the, the RV sitting nice and straight up here, even without the gravel. But we can do a final grade and get even more precise once we bring in the gravel. And I'm gonna save that for the next video. So if you got any questions about kind of how this went, uh, you know, leave those in the comments. I will give you a quick summary as far as like how long this took. I got about four hours total it just in tractor time, moving dirt around. And that includes kind of this final grade down the hill to kind of create like a nice little transition from the parking pad and continuing down the slope that goes down that way. We'll have a picnic table on this side of the RV, so it'll be nice just to be able to step right off of that, not have any serious slope to deal with, not have any tripping hazards or anything. And uh, we'll just have to plant this hillside in some grass to get it, you know, looking nice. For this year, it's a little late for grass. We'll throw down some seed anyway, but we have uh, heaps of wood chips that are dropped on our property for free. So I'm just gonna cover this whole area in wood chips and then uh, whatever comes up from seed that we plant this year, you know, that'll be nice, but really we're gonna have to count on the actual, you know, seeding uh, happening next year, which is, uh, which is just fine. So that's gonna wrap it up for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.